Hello, my lovelies. Today, we are revisiting Nightfall and another of Queen Joan's hairstyles. Today, we are conquering her bodacious buns. Pictures! So, uh, for this hairstyle, you will need two standard hair ties, two here clear hair ties, uh, some ribbon, gold would be best. I have green because that's what I have. Um, you will also need some long pins, uh, probably some Amish pins or your pins of choice, and a crown. Uh, we'll talk about the crown at the end. I'll tell you how I made it. Any hoodles, uh, I already have one almost completely done, but uh, it's just save us some time so I could show you how we go about this. So, even though they didn't have hair ties back in the day. We live in the now and we are using hair ties. This hairstyle is a little weird because we still need the crown to fit on our head and I'm still not positive. I've tried a few times, but I can't make my ears go down anymore. I'm pretty positive what they did on the show is they put the crown on her head and then just stuck the buns on her head. <laughs> We're gonna try. <laughs> But uh, you need to make your ponytails right on top of your ears, as in the top of my ear, you see? It's underneath the ponytail holder. Same thing on this side. If you saw the center of those buns, there was like a weird thing happening. This is as best as I can tell. So I am ponied, but I still have one more twist until it's super tight. And I just wanted to go from there to show you what we do. So you're gonna take your last twist, as it were, right? Do, 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 do. And we're going to pull through just the tiniest bit. Um, about that much. That's it. Don't worry about that for now. We're going to revisit it later. Next, you need your ribbon. Mine has fallen. So uh, I used, um, this is just a Grosgrain ribbon. Uh, this was five yards. I've used all of it. I just cut it in half. That's how much I needed, as you can see. So what we're going to do is you can take it in half to measure uh, because, of course, your hair is probably possibly a different length than mine. Uh, you want to make sure, I'm going to show you, so this is where we would tie it around. So you, wa you want to make sure it goes past your ends, I would say a good 6 to 12 inches, quite frankly. Um, that's probably like 8 or 10 inches past the ends because as you braid it will shrink up. So any hoodles, then you want to take that in half and we are going to tie it around the base. Want to try to make sure it's even? The base of this ponytail like so. Sorry, I look in the mirror you guys. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Yay. Now, before we braid, we need to pin this up like so. Thus, you need the long, my pins that have hair stuck to them, you need the long pins. So I'm just going to kind of flatten this up. There should be sort of loops, as it were. I'm just going to pin this to my head. Let me start from the back. Sometimes that just works better for me. Mm -hmm. towards the front. Don't worry about any pins shown in this section because we're going to wrap a massive bun around this. So no, no like major need to worry about anything showing. Oh, that did not do very well. I'm going to have to add an extra pin. I had all my pins out. Doo, 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 doo. Luckily, I'm much well, much better organized than I once was. All right, let's see. There. Is that better? Yay. See, I've got a pin. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. So we're going to braid. So what this is, is just an English braid. However, one of the strands is going to be both strands of this ribbon, as in this is a strand. We're going to take the rest of our hair, separate it into two sections, and then we're going to just braid an English braid using the two green ribbons as their own section of this three strand braid. I just had to edit because I got a phone call and there would have been copywritten material because I have the Game of Thrones theme song for my rose. Any hoodles, somewhere I was talking about the English braid. So one of these strands 
is ribbon. Uh, I think I was in the middle of something about gold ribbon. Yeah, I don't have any gold ribbon. I'm all out. So we're using green, which is fine. Uh, good enough. Uh, I used all my gold ribbon to make uh, bands. Any hoodles, let me finish braiding this and then uh, we'll be back for the next section. Back. Hi, I'm almost done pinning. Also, crown. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I'm going to tell you how I think this hairstyle is actually made in the show. But right now we're pinning a bun. Uh, we don't have a lot, as you can see, we don't have a lot of surface for pins. So uh, I've gone around. I will pin this one as well and show you. But uh, any hoodles. Uh, so I've gone around, but as you can see, we're at the end here and this is showing. So I threaded the tail end through the back. I'm going to cover this up, thread it through the front and tuck it. Uh, hopefully this works like it should. <laughs> This would be much easier without the crown uh, because the crown has to sit, see if I can get it, because I am pre-pinned. Let me see if I can get the end here. Do, 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 yay. Okay, cover that up right there. Oh, that might actually stay where it's supposed to. And I am just gonna pull this underneath here and pin it in the back. So, like I was saying, the crown, itself gives us some fits uh, because it sits so low and the bun sits so high that it doesn't really, like they don't work together. So I'm pretty sure that on the show, uh, what was done was these buns are their own hair piece. Um, are we down? Much like uh, Princess Leia's were, as in the buns themselves are on a uh, contraption like earmuffs. You guys, you know, earmuffs, right? And then the buns themselves are on the earmuffs. So they're put on, and then they just kind of pull them out, put the crown on, and they pop back into where they're supposed to be. I'm almost positive that that's how they have done this work around because there's just not a lot of place to pin, but we are pinned. So let's try this side. I know this side's looking a little, but I had to take my pins out because my crown wouldn't get down far enough. Dump the rest of my, oh, I used up a lot of my Amish pins. Any hoodles. So I'm going to go around in the front first, and then in the back, and then around one more time. Uh, make you a little bit smaller. I'm going to pin a little bit, as in, let me pin here. Like I said, with this crown being right here, Pinning into like the bulk is a lot more difficult. We don't have a lot of scalp hair to be able to pin into. Yeah, it's a little wonky. Um, so run this through the back. Loop here. I don't have this one pinned down yet. Run it through the back. Cover up our little tie here. Run it through the front. Do, 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 do. Maybe. <laughs> if I could find the end. Where's my end? Let me put my fingers through. There we go. All about covering up the hair tie. Did we get it covered? Where are we? There we go, right? Right, okay, so then I can pull this back, pin it down, and I know that's sticking out funny, but I'm not gonna worry about it just yet. I'll get it. We need it like this. I will pin that down. And then this, I'm just gonna put underneath, pin this down in the back like so, hopefully. There are a lot of ribbons too. You might uh, puncture your ribbons with these pins, BT dubs, because that's a lot of ribbon. All right, now this, which is looking a little funky monkey. I, I would have to agree there. Let's see if I can pin that. Let's just put it right like this and pin it into submission. Hey dolls, so, Yay! Ah, oh, there we are. All done. Do, 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 do. I already took my pictures so I can tell you about this crown. Um, yeah. So, this one was frustrating uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, the crown sits so low on her head and the buns sit up above, which is a little weird. Um, and I already told you how I think they actually got past that. Number two, if this was simply a braided 
bun would be no problems. But these stupid things are what caused me fits. Like, what is that? Why is that there? That's dumb. Why can't we just do ram horn braids? But no. I'm sure it's probably something to do with whatever this is, is actually just like a ball covered with hair that then they could then pin the braid around. Any hoodles. So there we go. It's not quite perfect, but it's the best I can do, y'all. So let's talk about this crown. Ooh, this crown is made out of a Pabst Blue Ribbon 12-pack of beer box. PBR cardboard, as Susan says, um, yeah, it is made out of chipboard is what they call it. Uh, if you do not drink beer, cereal boxes, it's the same stuff. So I did actually get it to emboss, but uh, what I had to do, let's see if I take it off. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's all caught up. Okay, we'll use one of these. Here, if you look, you see it's got texture. So what I ended up doing was I dampened the chipboard with a spray bottle of water and I put my little embossing folder over it. Rolling pin didn't work. I used an eight pound hand weight and just beat the crap out of it. My arm still hurts because I did a lot of cardboard. <laughs> so I beat the crap out of it until it embossed and I let it dry. Um, then I had to make fleur de lis these things um, Fleur de Lee, right? All I did was pop it up on my cell phone, a picture off of Google Images, and I just traced it right on my cell phone because that was the size I wanted. Um, I traced it and then I cut that out in a heavier paper and then I think I took a picture of all my Fleur de Lee. So uh, all the ones on the front are the full Fleur de Lee, um, but the ones on the back you can see I stopped them so they wouldn't have more bulk to get caught in my hair. Um, yeah, so and then I did halves and then these are just, if you look, it's just the top of a fleur de lis and then I just flipped it over and I made these. Um, so this is taped together. I just used tape. I taped it together and then I used a little bit of Mod Podge on the tips up here so everything is Mod Podge together. I used washi tape along the bottom uh, this washi tape along the bottom that's how I got that and then I spray painted it I took it outside and I spray painted it gold I think I have a thing of gold oh, I think I have it it's cardboard state before the washi tape and then I should have one where it's just spray painted gold just regular gold um, the pearls right uh, I bought pearls um, some of these I I painted with nail polish. Uh, looking at the pictures, I couldn't tell. They looked like they were super dark red to me. So I used a dark red. This is a magnetic and I did wave the magnet over it so it would look like cat eye stuff. Any hoodles. So I did some of them in red. I have some wee tiny pearls as well. Um, so I put all the pearls on, but it still looked not great. So I went around the pearls with gold puff paint, but it wasn't quite the same color gold. Not that it mattered. I also needed depth, so I just took black acrylic paint and dry brushed. As you can tell, um, I made sure I got all the tips on the inside. It's much sloppier, <laughs> but I wasn't worried about the inside. So I dry brushed um, to make it look more like beaten metal, I guess. This is the back you can see where I tried many of my techniques first before I went around to the front. So now we have a crown. Um, it still wants to be a butt on this side. Uh, it's not exactly the same but it is similar um, and I have a crown and it is made out of chipboard uh, but it's fancier than a Burger King crown but you know not the best thing ever but good enough. So that's how I made it. Um, I do really recommend if you're gonna use cardboard to emboss because it really helps when you go to do the dry brush to have some sort of texture for it to pick up. Um, I'm just saying. All right, that's it for me today. I'm gonna take this down because this is not a comfortable hairstyle because all the pins are concentrated in here and here and that's it. 
Also, it's covered my ears, and we know how I feel about that. I hate those. But um, I think if I'd have been able to get them just a little bit flatter, I think if it wasn't for these, we'd have been fine if we'd have just done straight ram horns. But I try to get it as close as possible. And now we have this happening. We'll just hold them. There we go. Any hoodles, that's it for me today. Love you guys. Um, I'll see you next week with our final nightfall hairstyle, which I haven't been able to make work yet. But hopefully I will be able to. <gasps> Keep your fingers crossed, ladies. Alrighty, I love you guys. I will see you next week. Have a great weekend. Be good at it. Bye.